from Fitzroy. So the tide is back on the ground. Their development officer, former captain, is Tony Free. The difference got him. Well, Tony, the big question is, uh, the front of the cover tonight, uh, the record, Robert Walls and the Tiger Survivor. Was that mentioned in the uh, rooms tonight? Uh, it was, yeah. There's a little bit on Walls here, a bit of video and things like that. Look, it's a fantastic effort, isn't it? 600 yeah. games at, at this level is just sensational. But the players are going to do it, uh, you know, for the crowd. We think we let the crowd down last week. We're very disappointed. Uh, we're going to try and earn a bit of respect back, mate. We need to do that, and we're better than here tonight. Good luck tonight, Tony. Thanks, mate. Collingwood out on the ground as well. They've had a late change. Chad Liddell's come in. Scott Burns has uh, dropped out. So a couple of changes to Collingwood. And certainly a big game. Sykes kicking to the left of screen. Walker's 100th match. It is a big crowd and a big atmosphere here. The stakes are high. There is a huge fallout for the loser. Moncourt's got flattened after he belted the ball forward. Miranda was hard at it with Russell. Broderick looking for a free kick. Hamble forced on by Curran against the flow. Williams there. Onto it hard was uh, Prescott, I think. And it's going to be a ball up inside 50. Let's have a look at the uh, Collingwood interchange. Bench at the moment, but the three that will play are Jason Wilde, Alex McDonald, and Simon Prestigiacomo. So Sharkey was a decoy. As the tipper told us, Michael Gale squeezes it to the boundary line and finds it. Good night. We had uh, real gloom and doom today, thinking it would be uh, freezing cold and hailstorms and windy, but it's not too bad at all. So Gale's got a job on Williams. Here's Monkhorst, who had an interesting chat with Robert Powell prior to the opening siren starting. It's a real David and Goliath affair. It may warm up as the night goes on. Cool night, certainly at the moment, very pleasant. We'll expect it to get down to around seven a little bit later on, maybe the odd shower. Buckley and Prescott there, some marvellous duels set up for the evening as Miranda soccer's off the ground. The Tigers fans happy to have him back. And the mark taken by Daffy. Up towards the centre half forward, towards Paul Bullis. Still a long way out, but he takes the mark on right half forward. Trading kick towards Holland, who was in fine form in the reserves last night. Campbell caught, gets the kick away in towards Wolf Ford. And the free kick is going to come back and it's going to go to the big Tiger. And talented Tiger is going to shoot directly in front, just 10 metres out. And Sandy Campbell showing his intentions very early. He started on a half-back flank on Richard Osborn. As soon as the Tigers could control of the ball, he raced down the field taking Osborne with him right down into the forward zone. So obviously they're trying to just stretch off Osborne as much as they possibly can tonight. Ben Holland kicked eight in the reserves last week. So he's got the nod from the selectors and he starts the Tigers off for the night here at the G. Well, that's just the start the Tigers wanted. They've been talking about it all week. They've had a lot of tough training on the track, a lot of soul searching this week. Nick Daffy pushing up in front of Gavin Brown. A good kick then to space in front of Bullis. And we just checked some of the other matchups tonight. Gale is Michael Gale's picking up Williams. Brown, as I said, is on Daffy. Bullis has been picked up by Krasiska. And Richardson is being picked up by Shawbull. And in the other pocket for Richmond, Richardson is picking up Gale. Tigers interchange, Dipper. Yes, uh, Jason Bourne playing uh, his first game for a while, and Mark Chafee, an unusual one, uh, Bruce. Chris Binder started on the bench. Yes, one of their top taggers. So the Tigers leading. The goal to Ben Holland. Gale and Moncourse both at it. Williams and Gale at him. Well played, Benny Gale. Gets it forward to half-forward flank. Bullis there with Krasiska. He was named on the interchange along with Sav Rocker. They both started. Buckley was named at full-back, but Shawball's there. Krasiska's handball was excellent. To Williams. To Wright to set a half forward and he finds Anthony Rocker who's a thumping long kick he's probably two or three metres too far out even if he got onto a talk tries to drop putt it's going and going and going it's a behind Collingwood are on the board he's kicked a goal in every match this season Rocker doesn't get a whole lot his best return is three but he's been pretty consistent yes one of 12 magpies to have played every game is Scott Turner who will bring it back for the Tigers and Richmond appear to be flooding an area here, Sandy. Just be interesting to see whether or not, yes, they're going to kick the ball out this side of the ground where they have flooded the area. 
Campbell, Kellaway and Co. Building it down was Chad Liddell, Scotty Russell. Now, which way will this bounce? Turner chances his arm and will head towards the line. Showing courage with that hand pass. Five points the margin. Early days, good crowd, good night. And round 11 is underway. Monkhorst in front, Miranda tries a 360. Russell shoots towards goal and uh, Scotty Russell puts through a behind. Turner again, again coming towards Campbell, finding him this time in the back pocket. He's going to have to go back over the mark. Russell was shepherded out of it. Campbell's very keen to go on with the job. Gets the hand pass away towards Robert Powell. We've had that altercation with Monkhorst. Now there's been a whistle, and it's going to go to Collingwood on centre wing, and maybe Gavin Brown will take it. Umpires are Rowan Saws, Mark Nash, and Jamie Love. Monkhorst is ignored in the middle. Instead, the skipper goes longer towards a rocker who's probably fourth in line. Tap wide towards Michael Gale. Had it for a moment and then lost it. Pushed out the back door. Miranda over the top wobbles a hand pass over the head of Bullis. He gets a bad bounce. It goes through his legs. Crows there for Collingwood on all fours. Another hand pass goes back again. Burke couldn't take it. Russell says dash. Goes on the left foot. And Scotty Russell has put through another behind. Peppering away now, but still down by three points. Terrific crowd here. It's really built up in the last quarter of an hour. Turner, we go short to Campbell. He's got that opportunity. He's going to go out wide as he did the last time. Burke a target, but Rocket did well. Miranda hasn't had uh, big possessions as yet, but he's been punching the ball forward on a couple of occasions. Graham Wright keeps it in. Miranda, well played. Press got over, ran it with uh, Buckley, and then hurled Buckley up cleverly. Miranda back onto it. Can square the body and kick towards full forward. Ben Holland at target. He flies with three or four others. Nichols, little left foot, couldn't get the handball away. On his own, Richardson in the goal square. Had they got it there? Taken now by Crow. An opportunity lost for Rich when he's kicked the centre wing. Front spot Liddell, first match this season. He'll be hungry to make his mark. Right in front of the seven commentary box. Waits to kick the half forward, but Gasper was alert. Anthony Rocker was sitting back a bit on his haunches. And two young guns here, aren't they? Gasper and Rocker together. It's Gasper to kick the ball. He's a fine young defender, Darren Gasper. Kicks up towards Paul Bullis on centre wing, and he doesn't let him down. Tight start. The sort of start we'd expect from these two sides. He goes in towards half court. Good use of the body by Richardson. He heads for goal. And he did all the hard work on this occasion. Good kick by Bullis. He's already troubling Krasiska for height. Good body work by Richardson. He took off. He does like to kick the ball on the run. And so far this year, he's been extremely inaccurate. In fact, he's kicked 19 goals, 16. Shane Watson, game number 99 for Watson. Comes towards at centre wing. Russell and Miranda could do the roving work down in front. Taken away by Ben Moore. Had an excellent game in the reserves last week. He beat it five. Only as far as Richardson. Gives it away to Brown. Collingwood out of trouble. The skipper, who debuted back in 87 with Gavin Francisco. Almost down to the middle. Now they have a look up towards the half forward line. A high kick. Turner used the body, but it's not good enough. And Big Sam, celebrating his 100th game, can do it in style if he can goal here. again Collingwood using the central part of the ground and that was just brute strength on that occasion by Rocker. Dermot Burton's been over at Victoria Park during the week giving the Brocker brothers a bit of advice. 37 goals and 21 behind so far this season to Severio Rocker. Up go the black and white flags. He's got his first. Well, this bloke's been down in confidence over the last couple of weeks. Had a shocker against the Swans, in fact. He's had a shocker 
again against the Hawks last week. He dragged off the ground, and he'll be looking tonight. He does like it here at the MCG. A chance to boost his confidence. That's a good kick, one-on-one, -on -one, just getting it down to that forward zone as quickly as they possibly can for a one-on-one -on -one contest. One three to one one, free kick in the centre, going to Richmond. So Rock has got a goal early, and so is Ben Holland. Well done, Prescott. It looked a difficult one, and then he floats at the full forward. Richardson sitting and waiting. In hard was uh, the other Richardson. That's Mark. Played it well to Watson. Watson's had few possessions this year, but he hasn't missed a match. It's a good kick to Buckley at half back. He too's been just down in the last couple of weeks after a sensational start to the season. Is the hottest of hot favourites for the Brownlow after half a dozen matches. Now Paul Salmon is challenging him for that uh, position. Williams in the front spot, went through his fingers. Gasper, well done. Good balance, but the kick not so good, and Watson's going to take it. It'll give away to Buckley. Buckley normally a good kick. That's a beauty to the big monkey. Didn't quite make it, though. Gale's got a chance. They could make them pay here. Gale straightens up. Goes hard towards full forward, not, hasn't got the strength. And Brown, who was rejuvenated in 1997, pushes the ball wide and finds Crow. Scott Crow on the halfback flank. Powell on the mark. He goes short. Made it very difficult to Russell. Curran now, Russell a fine tackle, but there's been a whistle. He'll come back a high tackle. We go the way of Chris Curran. And he goes to centre wing. Kellaway always shows courage. He backed into that one. Floats a high kick back towards the 50 for the Tigers. Big guns are there and it's Holland who marks. Plays on now. What's Richardson coming out the half forward. Couldn't take it cleanly. The race is on. Burke, but since he's in business. Can't get clear of Osmond. Could have almost been a leg. Aussie plays on. It's a high ball back towards halfback. Doesn't travel a great distance. Graham Wright belts it down, not very far. Nichols gives a hand pass away. From a standing start, they go in towards full forward. Richardson caught at the back, which way is it going to bounce? Bullis is there as well. Tries to soccer it through. And in the end, a try is scored by Collingwood through Shane Watson. And the Tigers have made a change. They've taken Campbell off Osborne. Osborne walked Campbell back to the 10 metre square. That's exactly where the Richmond don't want Campbell. They want him out on the half back flank. And Campbell's now picking up James Burke, as we see there on screen a moment ago, running Osborne once again down into the forward line from Richmond. Watson. It was a touchdown a moment ago, wasn't it? <laughs> Oops. Drop it. Well done on Russell. Benny Moore from the pocket. And scores a level at the MCG. It's related to Kim Hodgman, isn't he, uh, Ben Moore? Kim Hodgman, Sandy and I saw a lot of at Glenelg in the early days and then came across to uh, North Melbourne. He really missed the kick on that occasion because Trent Nichols had faded down towards the goals. He was about 20 metres out from the top of the square. Buckley, good kick to the birthday boy. Graham Wright, how old is he today, Sandy? Today, Graham Wright has turned 29. I knew you'd have that. He's at half back. He's been a resilient footballer, hasn't he? With a lot of uh, illnesses, and he's been able to keep going. He's kicked high to centre wing, not particularly good. Big fly came uh, from Bullis, but uh, Richmond were there with Gasper, and it's going to be a bounce. And the Tigers would have been happy with that bit of work. They forced Collingwood just to kick the ball high. Collingwood do like to get a lot of run off that half-back line. Still on centre wing. They'll look towards the line. Broderick shrugs one. Gives a little ground towards Gasper. Sneaks around Curran. It's up towards half four. Gavin Brown. Well, he's playing like a state of origin captain at the moment. Doing everything right. Goes across the ground for Mark Richardson. Collingwood go into attack again. In towards centre half four. Here comes Rocker. Couldn't take it. Burke feels the heat in the kitchen. Soccers it wide. So too does Michael Gale. And now Campbell gets it back to Gale. He's on half back, wide towards the centre wing, too wide. And out of bounds on the foot. Collingwood again, bring it back into play. And Sandy, what a lot of clubs have done playing against Collingwood this year is they've actually dragged Gavin Brown right back to the goal line. And if he continues to take marks across that half back line, Nick Daffy may be advised to do that. The rocker was a sensational fly, but he couldn't complete the mark, and Burke's kick goes over. No doubt 
out Big Sam's pump tonight. And speaking of uh, big men, time to welcome, fresh from the showers, uh, Matty Francis. Matt, welcome to you, and thanks for joining us. Oh, that's an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Good to see a couple of old teammates sitting down there together and hope you have an enjoyable game. One will be happy anyway at the end of the night. Here's uh, the good doctor, Watson. Into half forward once again. Gasper will have to try and spoil from behind. It can't do so. It spills free. Anthony Rocker soccer's off the ground. Down towards his brother. He needs it to sit, this big sad. It won't. And good work by Duncan Kellaway. They should get out of trouble. Here's Turner. Interesting there with Turner to Burke. Didn't use the left hand, but it was okay in the end. Gasper's kicks a beauty to Nichols. To half forward. Bullis lively start. Belts the handball. Back to centre wing to Prescott. Has to set something up. He hasn't got a lot of options. He's got to go long. Interesting kick. Good kick, actually. A beauty. He waited it perfectly for Ben Holland and gave him something to run into. The big hook worked there, didn't it? Tim, you reckon um, this kick could have been inspired by what his brother did last week? I just wondered about it. I mean, Nick took the game by the scruff of his neck. He missed out, Ben. Played in the reserves. I know they're at a different club. Kicked eight in the reserves, and tonight he started well, hasn't he? A terrific pair of hands, this young fella. Missed. Well, Nick Holland said during the week that uh, Peter Hudson's been a big plus for him. So does Simon Minton Connell in terms of kicking for goal. But uh, Richmond have had some chances. Richardson missed a gimme. That one was no gimme, but you get seven out of ten. They've got to nail them. You really have to nail those goals because it saps the confidence of the players upfield. Under nine minutes remaining in this first quarter. Williams this time goes to Buckley on half back. Start in an ominous fashion, picking up four or five early possessions. Nathan Buckley. Bruce said looking to get back into top form. Kick just going a little too far. Crow recovers on towards Williams. That was his target, but taken away by Michael Gale. Could have almost been held. Now Powell. First one way, then the other. A stammering hand pass. Eventually finds Campbell. He gives a little ground. Goes to Bullis, who kicks it high. It's a standing start. But a fine mark taken by the flying Buckley. Off he goes. Back towards centre half forward. Anthony Rocker was beaten. Wayne Campbell picks it up. Belts it round his body. But Paul Williams drops back. Gets a hand to it. Can't complete the mark. This is pressure football as Buckley goes storming through again. Now Nichols a chance. He's closing in on the goals. He's 50 metres out. He's 40. He's run a long way. He gives the hand pass away. The youngster should go, and he does. Benny Moore kicks his first. We often talk about the fact that awareness is everything in this game. But if we have another look at this play, the way that it was set up, just watch the interception here by Broderick. He comes across in a moment, just gets his hand to the ball, read that play beautifully, and then Nichols, all he really do, had to do here was keep his head, managed to do that, had plenty of support. Perhaps ran a little bit too far. Tiger's going well here, 2 4 1 3. Collingwood has led in seven of its ten matches in the opening quarter this year. They've had some spectacular starts, but the Tigers, seven points in front. Still a way to go. Ben Morby, please. Here's another kick. He just kicked a goal a moment ago. Prescott's been in port. Almost loses his stride. Daffy, that's his trademark. Very quick kick, didn't go far. Watson, well weighted beautifully to Richardson at half back. Richardson's kick. Wants Moncourse. Gale had the fly on him. Osborne probably should have taken it. Burke's got it. Takes his man on. Curran's tackle was reasonable. Daffy tries to half volley. With him is Brown. He threw it away, Daffy, but he was on the blind side of the umpire. Campbell, well done to Gale, to Miranda. It's exciting stuff. Miranda, two bounces. He'll try and take his man on. He's too good for Crow. 45 metres out, floating the ball. Richardson's high fly, front spot, Shawble. Didn't go with it. Holland throws it out. Nichols can't get it. Pushed forward by Preston Carmo. Miranda a chance again. Collingwood being held up. Osborne's got it at half back. And steadies. With a kick towards centre wing. Campbell shields his eyes from the light. Moncourse is beaten in front by Brendan Gale. Swings it in towards the middle and Burke. Built like a piece of eight gauge wire, but very, very effective. The long kick is by Harrison. Down towards the forward line once more. Michael Gale will read the crumbs. Osmond's leaving the ground. McDonald's taking his place for Collingwood. Gale from right half forward. Centering kick towards Bullets. 
couldn't take it. Felt it clear once again. Gee, this Collingwood defence is being well and truly tested at the moment as Watson comes across the ground. McDonald's just come on. He almost clashes with the big monkey. Eventually, the plumber looks for the hand pass. Gives it to McDonald. With no great confidence, he goes back again. The kick this time is by Curran towards half forward. Kellaway running back with the flight. Loses it to his teammate in Gasper. Across to Burke. He's on centre wing. Round the body. Monkhorst again forced to spoil Gale. Does it this time. Broderick picks it up. The little left footer bounces away. One. He's 65 metres out. Floating punt kicking towards full forward. Not a good delivery. Clean ball for all. The Tigers doing very well in the defensive area. The pressure they're applying to Kai was just not allowing them to flow with the play. Let's go down to Dipper. Yes, uh, Tim, you can hear by the uh, call of the players. Both sides are prepared to carry the ball and uh, uh, just to try and break the line. So when the player gets the ball, the teammate just shout in, take five, take ten. Buckley. He's been asked to kick it. And he does. It's a beautiful long kick. Heart of the centre square. Long course, used the body well on Holland. Couldn't take the mark. More little toe poke, OK. Nichols, caught. And a bounce. Gee, hasn't the umpiring changed in the last fortnight? For the better, I reckon. There's no doubt about that, Bruce. They're allowing players to have a bit more time with the ball when they are caught. As we see Anthony Rocker coming off the ground. Holland, good tap, Prescott pushed forward, gives Nichols a chance, he's a great finisher. Kick five last week and threads the needle. They're going well. There's some good signs here. It's early days, but Richmond has come out to really play. 3-5 to 1-3. There's a lot of spirit and hardness about this Tigers performance early in the part of the, in this early part of the game. As we see Tony Shaw make another change he's taken Anthony Rock off the ground and he's brought Patterson back onto the ground to play on Gasper Richmond have made the change in their own forward in their own back line Donald and Burke having a little bit of an altercation as we go back to the centre down on the boundary line Mark Gore and Mark yeah, the Tigers look pretty contented at this stage. They haven't made any moves, and they've managed to get a good matchup. Nichols is on Shane Watson, and he's just showing him up for pace down here. Brown's hand pass is going to start proceedings here for Collingwood. What a lovely take by Buckley. In the wall, full forward. They need a mark. There's no mark as far as the black and white's concerned. An excellent mark by Scotty Turner. To Prescott. From the back pocket, almost down to half-back, and Michael Gale. Back inside again. If it sits for Prescott, it'll be OK. Almost down to the middle. The Tigers looking full of run. Their confidence growing all the time. Up towards 50. Where are the small runners? Waiting in front is Gavin Brown again. He defends to Richardson. Stops and then just steadies with a short pass to Curran. He should get on with it. He's got McDonald now one flank, but elects to go towards the other. Up towards the middle of the ground. Or oh, Kellaway again. That's the third time he's backed into the pack. Couldn't take the mark, but uh, gets, uh, look at that, words of encouragement. Pats on the back from his teammates. They know what he did. As uh, Anthony Rocker, Gavin Francisco, like Gavin Brown, the two most senior players, both debuting in 87 for Collingwood. Monkhorst. Turner took a punt and sock it off the ground. It worked. Back towards uh, the middle. Oh, what a steal. Look at the pace. Catch me, says Powell. And they can't. He goes down towards half forward. Here's an opportunity now. Richardson. 46 metres out, a high floating kick, won't make the distance, in towards full forward, where are the crummers, Richardson is there, tries to hold out an opponent, does so, Crow gets caught, gives the hand pass away, the cry of ball goes up, but Watson goes on with the dog, out towards Patterson, he's just come onto the ground, here's the duck, Nick Daffy, the Mount Gambier kid goes to full forward, they need a mark, they haven't, and it's kept in play, and I reckon he just looked up, took his eye off the ball for that split second the end result of the high is i think he may have been a little bit surprised that the ball actually stopped he looked up lost the moment and the ball dribbling off his shin through for a point and that's an opportunity going begging buckley short to brown started well on uh, daffy it's been an interesting duel early brown 
wide. Crow, that's a good mark. At centre wing. Ben Holland was bearing down on him. Comes in broad, Crow. Kicks the ball to centre half forward. James never really got into the hunt. He's been slow early. Campbell and Wild. Off the ground, McDonald. Good play to force forward. Turner. Now, will he concede something here? He's shuffling, taking his time. They're on to him. Collingwood demanding a free. Oh, yeah. Top of the ball. And Liddell's got the free kick. Now, look at Turner. Liddell quickly on. And I think his misses are behind. I'm sure the uh, strictness of the umpires and maybe even the inconsistency, Tim, forced Turner not to go to the boundary line there because it, I'm just not sure whether they're going to ping you or not. And he almost froze in the end, didn't he? Yes, no, I thought that was a correct decision in the end, too. 1 4 3 6. Good stretch by Burke, who's got it and plays it on. Gives it away to Campbell. Looks down the wall to send a wing. Oh! Unsighted, but standing his ground, Ben Harrison. Goes on quickly, Prescott. Harrison lopes past, but he's ignored. Instead, it's the half forward. Richardson gave a push. That was noticed on Bullis. Now, danger here for Collingwood because Paul Bullis will look down towards Richardson, Holland, and then the Crummers waiting to do the damage. There's got to be more movement. One of those taller players down there has to move right out just to allow Richardson to be one on one with his opponent. So they're not doing it at the moment, so Bullis. Goes relatively short into the hole. Watson had front spot. He was unable to take it cleanly. Don't tell me Turner. Scotty Turner, the fullback. Oh, and he's kicked the goal. No, he hasn't. He's kicked it down behind. Well, they went up as one, Tim. I was with you, Sam. I was with you. Oh, and look at it's done to the crowd. She's distressed. That could bring a tear to Brucey's eye. We better be careful. Looked home, didn't it? Every bit of goal, but uh, it would have brought the house down. He started the long walk back, by the way, to the other end of the ground. Zipper, you're down there. What's the feeling like, Dip? Oh, it's fantastic, Bruce. It's uh, 70,000 plus here at the moment. Uh, the uh, the stand at the Ponsford end is just starting to fill up once again. Watson, bad kick, and Burke was able to chop it off. It's a good player, this kid. Lost his way a bit last year. Kick into the centre. What a power. Hard out it was. Uh, oh, gee, that's uh, bad footy by the Tigers. Patterson caught one and they'll play the advantage, will they? No, it's going to come back now. They should have played the advantage on that occasion. That's a mistake. But the mistake then was made by Berg. That kick in board to a, a Tiger teammate who was just under too much pressure. Yeah, you give a guy a rap, but it was uh, just had too much on it. Patterson's kick, rock of the target. Turner went to ground, free kick, going to Turner. It looked a hip and shoulder. Rockwell unhappy. He did kick 10, Sam, the last time Collingwood beat Richmond. It's been a while ago. They may need another big score tonight if they're to win. Turner's kick to centre wing. Bullis and Richardson. Brown, captain courageous. It's been a big quarter for the Tigers. Listen to the crowd giving uh, an opinion on all sorts of things, including the umpire, I'm not sure. 1 4 to 3 7. As Jeff Geeshan and Robert Walls come down. Saw Tony Free in the background. And uh, Tim. Collingwood went into the match's favourites. It's all square now, I reckon, after that first quarter. There's no doubt about that. Richmond probably should have a, another couple of goal lead at quarter time. They've had the opportunities in their forward line. And unlike last weekend, they've come to play this week, the Tigers. They've been tenacious in the first quarter. And Tony Shaw is going to have to. He's, he's sprung a lot of moves already in this first quarter. But he's still going to have to come up with a winning formula for these next three quarters of football. So quarter time, it's Collingwood 1-4-10, Richmond 3-7, 25. First tonight, sitting with his former teammate, Nathan Bauer. On the subject of Paul Williams, he's only had, as we see the two mates there on the screen, Paul Williams has just had one handball in the first quarter. He's been picked up by Michael Gale. Start of the second term, Friday night football, 1-4 to 3-7. Moncourse wins the tap. Benny Gale's been good, he got a little left footer to it. Here's Broderick, who was mentioned by our 
men on the boundary a moment ago. Patterson, handball by Powell. Little kick by Prescott, didn't go very far. Collingwood with a chance, free kick. They're going to uh, Richmond or to Brown, is it? There's some confusion here. I think it's Daffy's ball, and he was prepared to stand the mark on Brown, so that's a bonus for the uh, half-forward flank of the good long kick to Richardson. Yes, Sarri. It's a good kick, and he's a wonderful athlete. Needs to kick this, Tim. This is the, the important one for the night for him. There's no doubt that his confidence is a little bit shattered too. On the couple of occasions he has taken the ball inside the 50 metre zone, he's played on very quickly. So obviously he does get a little bit jittery when he has a set shot. There's a good shot at the angle from behind. We'll follow it through. Can Richardson stretch this lead? He can. Well, it's early days, but... Uh, we were talking off there a quarter time, and Sandy, you get a feeling, and the feeling is that the Tigers are going to be there at the finish tonight. 11 shots to five, but as you say, still early, a great start, though, in the second quarter, Tim. There's no doubt, Sandy. They've come to play tonight. They were very insipid. They were very soft last weekend against Melbourne. They've had that drummed into them all week. Now, on, that oca on this occasion, we see a free kick over the shoulder there, but they've just got the ball into their forward line quickly, and that's what their forwards want, one-on-one -on -one contests. Margin is now out to 21 points. High mark from Richardson as we go back to the middle once again. What a charge through was Powell. His hand pass goes astray. Put the Gasper under the hammer. He lost it to Buckley. Nathan Buckley round the body. Collingwood desperately need a mark and goal. They've got to stay in this game. But a high mark taken by Wayne Campbell. Goes to the outer side and Michael Gale. He's on half-back. Richmond getting the early goal in the second quarter. Goes up over centre wing. There's a big pack of players. All tried to pounce on it. He kicked the goal, the young boy. Scott Crow at the bottom. And he has the ball. Scheuble. Scrag. Loses it. Holland. May get a second attempt. He tries to slap it out. Does so. Quiet ball again goes up. This time the advantage is going to be paid to Gavin Brown. He plays on a stuttery old hand pass out of defence. Shawbles okay to Williams. Williams plays on. He's got to get firing into this game. Lovely hand pass to Watson. The good doctor's pass is good to Rocker. He's a mile from home. Will he let one go? Seven. What did the coaches say quarter time, Mark? Well, Bruce, Tony Shaw will be very happy with that goal. That's exactly what he wanted. Uh, the huddle was very quiet at quarter time until Tony let fly. He said from half back they've got to send the ball forward to their forwards' advantage, just like they did then and just like they're doing now. And for Richmond, he just, uh, Robert Walls just wanted them to be hard at it. But they're going to be hard up to stop Rocker in this form. So Rocker after Williams again involved. Football is just about which side can win the most midfield breaks. On this occasion, a magnificent kick by Williams. Just watch the way he just half kicks it. He sits it up in the air and allows Rocker to run onto the ball. Turner expecting a big kick to the goals. It's his 350th goal in league three. He's got it. Three to Rocker. Gee, that... Uh, Brings a smile to a statistician's heart. 100th game, 350 goals. You can work that out, Tim. How many is the average a game? Uh, what about 3.5? You've got it. Thank Three you. and a half. Gee, they're back. There's, there's no doubt about it. 
Richmond have come to play tonight, and so has that man on our screen, Severo Rocker. I spoke to him earlier during the week. He said he was disappointed by the fact that Tony Shaw has been taking him on off the ground. And I'm sure if he can continue his form that he's shown already in the second quarter, he'll be out there all night. Nine points is now the margin. And we've got a game here as Gale wins it out of the centre. Patterson kicks it high. Williams is starting to get into this game. But since he's in business, it doesn't, and he's not. Should get out of it, though. Curran round the body towards right half forward. Williams again. He shrugs the tackle. He is getting into this game. He wants an area. Almost had him. Pushes it down in front. Nice little poke so okay. Rocker goes in again. A vice-like tackle sends the ball to the ground. And it's locked up there between full forward and half forward for Colling. And Sandy, after holding him very well in the first quarter, Michael Gale is just giving Paul Williams far too much latitude in this second quarter. What a crucial moment now for Richmond. Collingwood looking for their third in almost as many minutes. Pushed towards the boundary line. Anthony Rocker with him Gasper. And it's over. And you just begin to get the feeling that the momentum has shifted, don't you? Richmond are really going to have to work hard to switch it back. Talk to Tony Shaw tonight. We asked what stage will Seth come off the bench. This is what he had to say. Well, as soon as I think he's necessary, that's when I think, uh, whenever it uh, suits the occasion. Well, he started tonight, so it was necessary before the game, obviously. Russell Goodmark. Hey, give us a bit of play there by Damien Monfors to set that goal opportunity up on the boundary line throwing. Russell from point blank range kicks the goal. Storm back into this game. What's his tap? Beautiful tap there by Monforst. Right, knowing exactly where the ball's going. Not getting enough on that kick for a goal, but Russell just pushing back. And Miranda, who's his direct opponent, will have to tighten up on him too. It's time now for the Tigers just to work their way back into this game. Collingwood on a roll here at the MCG on Friday Night Football. The chart of Collingwood has gone up. Richmond are stunned, they are shell-shocked as Gale pumps a high ball towards the 50. They need a mark, they don't get it. Gavin Brown defends, he twists, he turns into trouble, loses the football. But look, he pounces and he goes again. Richardson, wide to Russell. Russell gets the hand pass away. Watson wobbles one towards centre wing. He wants Patterson, he's going to be under the puck, close to the boundary line. He's gone out on the ball, has he? Yes. Ben Harrison to bring it back in on centre wing. Pulls it in towards right half for a good kick and he finds Richardson still a long way out. He plays on. It's a long kick into full four. They're all up. But there's been a whistle. It's going to come back. I think it's going to be a boundary throw in. He played on. Played on and went over the line. Went over the line, Sandy. Well, so it comes all the way back to half back. And Shawball just letting him know how unintelligent that bit of play probably was. Opportunity maybe going begging. We'll wait and see from the throw in. Buckley again, just paddling it very cleverly to his own advantage. Does that so well. Back towards Moncourt. Almost bounces off his head, but he gets another go. Needs someone going past. Has got Severio to Paul Williams. Williams is in the middle of the MCG. A lightning hand pass to Curran is good. He chips towards centre half four. The mark wasn't taken by Jason Lyle. Push. He's going to get a free kick. Wild to flood the Richmond forward line and then run it back and Wild was the direct target. He almost put the mark. He's got the free kick, but unfortunately it doesn't look like he's converted. No, he's missed to the left. One behind. And the Tigers just started to look a little bit ragged. The Collingwood midfielders starting to get plenty of the ball. They're really going to have to tighten up and continue to run both ways. Short to uh, Harrison. 
4 7 to 4 5. Michael Gale presents himself at centre half back. Comes wide to his brother and finds him. Brendan Gale. Not a whole lot of targets. That's a dangerous kick and a pretty bad one, actually. To go on board and not have an absolute certain target was uh, a low percentage and Buckley's got it look at him thump the ball to full forward with a beautiful kick Anthony Rocker clever tackle by the deal was good it's going to be a bounce smart player Anthony Rocker couldn't mark just brought the ball down with the left hand there's some worrying signs now for the Tigers see Mark Render there on the bench he was good early wasn't he oh. Turner Second point tonight, Sandy. And there was nothing he could do. He had two in the black and white right on his hammer. That just shows the way the game has changed him. 4 6 4 7. Nice and short. Campbell in the back pocket. Now a look of concern on Campbell. The confidence that was there earlier on appears to have disappeared for the moment. Chesty Bond. Right across the, the face of goal to turn, and they've gone nowhere at the moment. Bond makes ground, he could also make some problems. He's going to make major problems, maybe. Patterson, that sits, is away, he scoops it up, he bends around 60 out and passes superbly in the half ball. Chris Curran marks in front of Moore. Still a long way out. And Anthony Rocker comes out. Got a player at the back. No one able to take it. Anthony Rocket comes in again. For a second go over the top was Richard Osborne. And the fans of this great game look on. Watching a thriller. Still at half forward. A chance for more to clear for Richmond. A couple of bounces. Look out, he just about ran into his own teammate. He gives it the way to Harrison, who looks up towards centre half forward. Richardson gave a nudge underneath it, went unnoticed. Richardson looks to recover. Powell's got pace. He's quick. Outside 50. He's got to be quick. He's in two minds. Goes to Prescott. 70 metres out. Now goes the short distance home. Long towards Richardson. position to get it watch power gathers him he's a clever player held on to the ball just bought a little bit of time bit of space and then Prescott who doesn't mind taking an opponent on just kicking long to the goal square and sure we're losing Richardson Nichols and Crow Crow uh, going to ground a moment ago Richardson with a couple of goals in the second term Prescott was good there and so was power Moncourse off the ground What do you reckon, uh, Nathan? You, you feel like uh, Richmond have withstood that challenge and could come back strongly now? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Collingwood did start well. They're a very fast side, and we just got to make sure that we stay with them through the midfield because they can really cut sides up. Some guts shown there from uh, both sides. Back to Broderick. Quite second term after a terrific start. Good looking kick. The pros got the courage to come across. It's got a nick over that left eye. Kicking board to Russell. Russell's away. Transfers play brilliantly. A wonderful build up to Williams. Williams delivers to Rocker. Can't mark. Could kick a goal though. Handle in board. Latour held on to it a bit long. Taken by Campbell. Campbell away. Kick to Harrison. 
and the taller opponent against Patterson. So a couple of signs for Richmond good in the last moment or two. Aren't we fickle? We go from one team to the other up here. As Harrison kicks the ball into centre half forward, Bullock's trying to get hold of it. Ben Holland could have handled a power. Kicks to full forward, it wasn't a good option. And the mark to Preston Giacomo, who's yeah, in front. Just get the feeling it's gone up a notch or two, I think, in the last couple of minutes. It's probably why, Bruce. A number of players coming into the game, like Williams. Burke fists clear, but it's not clear. Anthony Rocker got a bad bounce. For one, I thought he was heading towards goal. Michael Gowan gets the hand pass back to Burke. Richmond should get out of trouble. Harrison's almost down towards the middle. His little chip pass is OK for Presto. Got a bit of time, a bit of space. Goes down towards uh, the master at full forward. steady Richmond after Collingwood came out all guns blazing early on in the second. Gee, Tim Prescott knows how to find Richardson, doesn't he? He certainly does, and Buckley's going to have to pick him up on the way back too, because he's doing a lot of damage for the Tigers at the moment, Prescott. Buckley's getting his fair share of kicks as well. This is for number three for the quarter. Starts in the left. Goes even further. No mark, and belted through from behind. Down to the boundary, Mark Doran. Yes, it's a bit of a new look forward line for Collingwood. Krasiska's come on and he's trying to drag Wayne Campbell back to the back pocket. And Richard Osborne's on now at the moment. He's playing second fiddle to Anthony Rocker. So the huddle as uh, Watson to bring it in. 4 6 to 5 8. To halfback. Beating the sandwich was Buckley. Had to sit under a current. Tackled by Daffy was good. It was legitimate and fair, and it'll be another bounce. I wonder if Richmond can revisit the spirit of 1995. Their fans hope so. Carried them to so many victories. Emotion. They haven't been able to uh, duplicate it under Robert Walls in a season and a half, but they need it tonight. Holland. The throw, was it? The free kick going to Buckley. At half back. As Tim said a moment ago, he's getting plenty of the footy, but Prescott's also cutting up Collingwood when he gets it. The kick to centre wing, Anthony Rocker was high. Then he's out after it, but a couple of Richmond players there. Gaspar, Richmond again, well done, Broderick. Broderick to Harrison, Harrison gets it wide. Prescott, Buckley, good duel this. Prescott, Mark Payne, plays on quickly. From centre wing, down towards the 50. Big pack of players. Powell is one of the targets. Nichols is there also, through his legs. He gets another chance. He's This game has now really tightened up. Presto Giacomo has gone on to Richardson, and Shawville is now picking up Bullis. Russell goes to Shawville on the other side. He's down towards centre wing. Collingwood now have got an inside 50. Burke, they can just about rattle this, the Tiger boys. That wasn't good. Holland by Collingwood. Holland eventually took it. His kick's a little disappointing. Tigers have the numbers, they should get out of trouble. They will. Bond shows in the footy and then scoops away. Up towards Bullis. Look at this. Similar spot as he kicked it just two minutes ago. This time though he's called to play on. Gets Sprague. Bond's got it down. Goes round his body. In towards the pocket. Richardson may get another chance. It's taken a rush over the line. But turnovers in this game now are so critical. Everybody's offside and out of position as we see Gavin Christensen coming off the ground and McDonald coming back on. From the throw in, taken by Powell. Left footer is bent round in towards full forward and only as far as Richardson. Collingwood through Brown will get out of trouble again. He finds Watson on half back. Shane Watson as Michael Gar close in him, spears it into Buckley. Buckley, normally beautifully from the boot, looks towards Rocker. Can't pick it up on the half volley. Recovers, strokes one tackle, gets the lead, plays on, goes towards McDonald, who's just come on. Richmond through Callaway, defend. Powell has got to meet a couple. Used the body magnificently, couldn't take the mark. Right loose into Moore. Moore across to Campbell. Campbell gets it away. Back to Powell. The Tigers are away. Great foot. 
four powers, long bomb to four forward, Richardson will fly, ball at the back and short will get a handle on it, no Collingwood have got it though, Richardson kept his call, good kick, one into the other, it's stirring stuff here, as Russell runs his full distance and then pops it down, Osborne stroke, 80 metres from goal, Rocker leads now, Osborne kicks it to him, but doesn't make it, Holland chips in. This Richmond defence has been terrific. Did you have an injury down there? Yeah, Chris Bond's still on the ground, Bruce. He's trying for the clock and he wants to come off the ground. He's on Jason Wilde at the moment, so he's limping. So, well, let's keep an eye on that one. Well, you know if he wants to come off, he's seriously hurt because he's uh, one of the gutsiest players around. Gasper gets it from Campbell. Back to Campbell. They fiddled a bit. Had no one to kick it to. And he went to the boundary line. Can he get there? Oh. David Campisi or Matthew Burke would have been thrilled with that. Here's Miranda getting ready to come back on, maybe for Bond, as Dipper said. It's a good game of footy. It's 5-8 to 4-6 at the G. And a crucial four and a half minutes of this game now. Michael Gale gets a hurried kick and again heads towards the boundary line. Scotty Crowe and Ashley Prescott see it over as Nick Daffy. Also looks to have problems. Collingwood making a change too, so a double change coming up here at the moment with uh, four and a half to go. Chris Bond and Jason Wilde we go back to the action and McDonald a floating kick towards Anthony Rocker. He's beat, pushed down towards Campbell, gets the hand pass away to Bond. He runs into Williams. Going to come back. Going to come back. Collingwood playing without a recognised ruckman on the ground at the moment. Long course has gone off, and what they're trying to do is they're just trying to stretch the running department of the Richmond team. Both sides have been tested in the last few minutes. There's been uh, nothing held back as Buckley marks on centre wing. Ten kicks and six marks. Again towards Anthony Rocker. Playing in front, pushing down in front. There's the Richmond wall of Wayne Campbell. One of those defending. Coming in quickly as Rowan Sauls, the 42-year-old veteran umpire officiated in four grand finals. Campbell picks himself up. There's a uh, big monkey, Gavin Prasiski, some experience on that Collingwood bench. All of a sudden, scoring has become very difficult. Holland, wearing 16. Rocker, 23. Good aerial work, but no one victorious as Russell is taken off the ball by Campbell, who gets a quick kick towards the centre. Who's going to get the break? Maybe it leads the Collingwood skipper, Gavin Brown. Round his body, inside 50. Scenario Rocker was the flyer. Couldn't take it cleanly. Tumble punt in towards full forward, which way will it bounce? OK for Gaspar. Gives it away. The Richmond defence now standing strong. This is Richardson, a long way from home. Tries to draw the man. He's in trouble. Kellaway had to just drop it. The has got him. Richardson's caused a problem here. Can he get back and put the tackle on Williams? He can't. McDonald to Mark Richardson to Osborne. Certain goal. He's off Aussie and drills it home. Matthew Richardson, hang your head for a moment. That's done. 5 8 to 5 6. Well, he's going to hang his head on the boundary line, Tim. Yes, he's been taken off the ground. Richardson. His direct opponent from Collingwood dragged him right up the ground when Collingwood gained control of the ball. That's why he was up there in the halfback flank, but just lacking a little bit of feel for what was going on around him on that occasion. And the turnover costly. So Richardson pays for his sins on the bench. Collingwood moved within two points. What a big second quarter by both sides. This has been gives it to Graham Wright. Celebrate your birthday, Wrighty, in North Pass. Unable to take it cleanly, but pressured all the way. And look at that. Chesty Bond. With Patterson. And Shawville taking that centre bounce. He's now gone back onto the half-back flank and changed with Buckley. So, really, Buckley's opponent on the ball at the moment is Ben Holland. Tigers have lost five of the last six. They've got to stop the rock tonight. Collingwood have lost the last two. Maybe their season two hinges on this game. Wright's in the thick of things. So too is Powell. Gets a short kick and a chance to work on the outer side. 
towards the centre wing. No mark taken. Colin would appear to have the numbers initially. Good work by Moore. Had to beat a couple. And look at Gavin Brown. He's tagged from pillar to post. And he's ripped to the ground, but he's still going. Shady, there's a kind of player down. Shane Watson and his uh, tip. And he appears to be in quite a deal of tr trouble there. Riding in pain on the ground. Two trainers sprinted straight out to him. Shane Watson with this, so uh, he's in a bit of stride. They're going to have to stop this play then because it's only 10 metres and they're calling for the stretcher. I didn't see what happened. I don't know whether we picked it up on that replay or not. I see Miranda. So we will have a uh, look at a replay here. There's Watson and uh, Ben Moore. It looks like he might have just run into Moore's elbow or something. Yeah. So, uh, Shane Watson, uh, the stretcher out. It's going to be a fair hold up and play here late in the first half. It's been pretty good tonight. A uh, lot of touches. Ten kicks now. Matthew Richardson quickly back on the ground. Mark Doran. And here, while that's going on, Richo's run back on. And uh, up the other end, Scotty Turner has run from fullback uh, to the forward line for the Tigers, leaving Wayne Campbell down here to pick up Sav Rocker. So uh, they're trying to pinch, pinch a goal, the Tigers, but it could, in fact, cost them. Just the crunch against we saw the uh, replay with Moore and uh, Watson. There's Campbell and Turner, so they're swapping again now. So this is rotten luck for Shane Watson. He's copped a couple of... Um, like this yes. over the years, hasn't he? Yes, he's been in the wrong spot at the wrong time a couple of times. And once you do get knocked out, it tends not to take such a heavy blow the next time round to knock you out again. So here the um, incident again with uh, Ben Moore and uh, Shane Watson. Gee, uh, let's hope this young player's OK, Watson. So young, he's uh, played a lot of footy at 23 years of age, 99 games, but uh, he's... Uh, he's been a good player for Collingwood tonight too. Bruce, he's had 10 kicks and two handballs, so he's had plenty of the ball for the Pies tonight. Doesn't look good for the kid for the moment, but uh, we'll monitor that, that's for sure. So we've got our fingers crossed here as they're uh, going down the race now with a minute remaining in the first half. Collingwood trailing by two points. Five, six to five, eight. So we resume again on centre wing. Hurried kick under pressure by Wild. Gather a little distance. Holland also suffering the same problem. Wild going in again like there's no tomorrow. Roderick, Holland and co also there. Another bounce as we count down to half time. Ten goals so far scored for the half. Buckley and Holland. One by the former. Gale gets a bad bounce. Moore gives it back to Michael Gale, however. Richmond have got time to score here. In towards the left forward pocket area. Nick Daffy was the target. But no. Kevin Brown still roaring to his charges. Eight kicks. Four marks, four hand passes to the Collingwood skipper. Bullis and Shawbull. Bullis wins it, pokes it out the back. Oh, Daffy. That quick kick was very, very skillful. Here's an opportunity for the youngster again. Trent Nichols. Has kicked his second with only seconds remaining in this half. And Nick Daffy really is the opportunist. Just watch the way, as we see here a moment on replay, the way that Nick Daffy gathers this ball. A good tap over the back. What's that? Terrific play then by Daffy. He's one player who knows that he doesn't possess a lot of speed. He's worked terribly hard on just getting the ball onto his boot as quickly as he can, just forcing it down the field. And Nichols reading the ball very well off the foot too. Huge goal. Have a look at that time. Four seconds remaining. Nichols with the late goal. And the Tigers are going to be buoyant as they go in. After Collingwood have made most of the running in the second quarter, 
Shane Watson carried from the ground. Nick Daffy's opportunist effort to Trent Nichols to kick two. And the Tigers lead at half time by eight points. But we're going to reveal something at half time that might make you a bit shaky if you're a Tiger supporter. It's got something to do with their performances after the long break this year. But Tim, there's no doubt that they are pumped up and firing and ready to go and they're going to still be there at the end of night well bruce i thought they had the staggers there in the early part of that second quarter Collingwood got a bit of a run on the momentum shifted and they worked terribly hard just to get themselves back on an even keel and really at half time the momentum had shifted back towards the richmond side as we see a concerned tony shaw walking back into the rooms at half time no doubt he'll be having plenty to say to his players collingwood 5 6 36 trailing Richmond at half time 6 8 44 uh, it's just a fantastic game of footy this one and it's going to be dominated by the midfield whoever can get in top on the midfield will win this game and it's just so quick it's going from full back to full forward in two seconds it's just a great game here here 5 6 to 6 8 as we start the second half Moore and uh, Brown Moore's been pretty good not a lot of touches but when he's hurt held the ball something has happened and Gavin Brown's had a very good first half there's Ben Moore not many opportunities this season. Just one game going in. Played uh, against St Kilda in round nine and then dropped last week. Monkhorst, Michael Gale to half forward. Russell was there. Maybe he'll match up with power for pace. Crows kick out wide. Paul Williams had a sensational quarter of an hour in the second term. That's neat to Buckley. They do combine so well, those beautiful playmakers. Williams and Buckley. Buckley's at centre wing. Kicks the ball to centre half forward. Anthony Rocker and Gasper used his body beautifully. Can stretch Tony. He's got a big wingspan, so to speak. He gets those big arms up. That was a good mark. It really was just his reach on that occasion. It's a beautiful kick for goal. It's a terrific shot of uh, his angle. He's a long way out, but the distance won't worry him. He has kicked a goal in every game he's played so far this season. He's missed out so far tonight. And now from 50 metres. He has... Has he got it? Or just missed? He's come back, I think, for goal. It was a little fade, a goal shot, wasn't it? He just brought it back perfectly. And Collingwood get the all-important opening goal. So Nichols late in the first half, Rocker early in the second half two quality touches here we see Williams on screen sitting in some with a nice kick to Nathan Buckley and then Buckley just sitting the ball up for Anthony Rocker. Anthony Rocker hasn't had a lot of the ball tonight in fact in any of the games I've seen him play hasn't had a lot of the ball but he's contesting across centre half forward he's just a focal point for them he splits packs and he's a very accurate kick for goal so back in the middle, the margin again, just two points in the seesawing struggle. It's continuing here at the MCG. Look at Gavin Brown, up Collingwood, down the wall to the 50. Lavelle was there, he couldn't take it. The race is on, and Patterson's quick. He's got to be, because Kellaway is heading for the boundary line. Finds it on the other side. Robert Wolves was asked about their second half failings prior to the match, is what he had to say. Uh, disappointing because we've got off to good starts coming at half time three four five goals up on many occasions and been overrun something that we have to get right uh, something we've talked about and uh, I feel that will be better in that area this evening. Prescott kicks it back towards centre wing Collingwood playing in front but they're beaten by Moore who goes for the hand pass out the back door nobody there initially Brown and Co will lock it up Williams is there also and Graham right but it's Bond whose hand pass is smothered. Now it's back to Williams. He spears it in towards the middle. Here's a chance for Collingwood's Chad Liddell. He looks to the forward line. They need and they've got a mark. And it's Anthony Rocker again. Eighteen to his name. Coming into this game for the season. Eighteen nine. One already in this quarter. Then by Chad Liddell to Anthony Rocker's favourite side, but really the mistake was made by Richmond out on the wing division when they chose the wrong option trying to go back inside. And this will bring the house down if he goes, they'll hit the front. And Marky can forget about having a chat. He swings it away to the left, and there's now one point in it. Down to the boundary line, Mark Doran. The 
Well, Sandy, I was going to tell you that Richmond were trying a two-pronged full forward line with uh, Richardson and Gale in the square, but they've both run up the ground, then here they come back now, so they are going to stick with that. Benny Gale and Matthew Richardson playing from the goal square. Harrison, a reasonable build-up out wide. Bullis within Shawball. And handled in Shawball, free-kick Bullis. Fair enough. Collingwood within a point. The last time they were in front, Collingwood, was nine minutes into the first quarter. So the Tides have had the better of it, but uh, they still lead Richmond by a single point. So Bullis a long way from home. He's uh, between centre wing and half forward. Richardson goes now, and Bullis kicks it to him. A couple of big flies, free kick coming back. Gee, Richmond are lucky here. In fact, uh, if Robert Powell hadn't heard the whistle then and didn't pass the ball to Gale, you'd give him a smack, wouldn't you? He's uh, trying to have a shot, but Richardson's going to get a free kick. He's had no confidence at all, Richardson kicking for goal tonight. He's made a couple of bad mistakes trying to play on. He's kicked two, but he was taken from the ground in the second quarter when he... Uh, Played on at uh, centre wing and got all sorts of confusion raining around his teammates and cost them a goal. Hollywood supporters don't like it. Richardson to increase the lead to seven points. That's a great kick. That's a rocket kick. It's a goal. Well, that's going to lift him. Seven eight to six seven. That was a sensational kick there by Richardson. And just before that goal was actually set up by that free kick, I noticed a Richmond backman running right down into the into their own forward line. It's okay when there's on a fast break, but when it's a settled situation like that and Richmond are kicking outside the 50, all they're doing is blocking up the space in their own forward attack. What a kick. What a kick by Matthew Richardson for his third and again. The Tigers stretch the lead. It's back to seven points. Moncourt wins it. They rip it out of the middle, courtesy of Nathan Buckley. A high ball towards the 50. Big pack of players, but no one can take the mark. Campbell's waiting down. Patterson set the pounce. Preston here. Como is there as well. It's Harrison who gives it out to Turner. Turner looks towards half back. Doesn't travel far enough. Williams could have been free kick. He doesn't get it. Gale comes over the top. Williams goes again. He gets it out towards Patterson, who throws it towards the line. Slipped out. starting right back near the goal square makes it terribly difficult for a player like Gasper who does like to dash here's Broderick great tackle by Buckley Prescott at the bottom Robert Walls tonight becoming the seventh person to move into the 600 league fine achievement by Walls season just the one flag with Carlton at the back in 1987 and what an emotional year that was interesting the way Rocker sets up when the ball is deep in their forward line he goes right outside on the opposite side to where the ball is to give himself plenty of space with which to lead into long course jostling again with Holland out of the air front of the goal zone look out Burke tries to soccer off the ground. Patterson couldn't take it. Or oh, duck his head and almost dangerously Callaway. Look at that. Pouncing on it. Tony Shaw. Brother Ray. Two great names from Victoria Park. Days gone by. As players. Now trying to guide the side in the coaching department. Patterson takes it. Goes on to the left. Bounces down towards the forward line. And it's Callaway who's going to take the hand pass back. They'll get out of trouble, Richmond. They can set something up towards Bullis. He's leading Schoibel on the other side. Good senses in business. It doesn't. And Schoibel. Take it over the line. Once again, Bullis having trouble with the ball below his knees. Collingwood interchange. Osborne with his back just a moment ago. 7 8 6 7. Tigers are seven points in front. The Maggies are trying to come at them hard here. Bullis. Bond tried to get through. Free kick to Bullis. Advantage given to Bond. He's away. One bounce. Two. 
He's at 55. Good kick to the goal square. Richardson and Gale. Gale beat fly. Richardson scooped it up. Taken by Crow. Crow under pressure. Belts it out. Ben Holland's got a good chance. He's got the monkey and Williams after him. Takes Williams on. Well done, Williams. Play. Now Holland again. Monkey with him. Back to Williams. Williams with a little handball back to himself. Handball on. Okay. To Russell. It's a hot footy. In for to right. Sensational stuff. Right's little kick to centre wing. Might be too far. And Campbell takes a beauty. It was good footy. Just a wonderful contest. Campbell's kick is excellent. To Michael Gale. Go, Michael. Run away. Should have bounced it eight times, I reckon. Kicks to Richardson. Finds him. Beautiful man. Should kick a goal. Penetrating football. Plays on. Shot. He's the full forward, he's 48 metres out, he can get the distance. I think Chris Bond might have just done that. Set a half forward the bounce. Maybe a moment going begging for the Tigers. Back towards Campbell. Leading in the race. Broderick there to chop him off. Back to Prescott. Tigers picking up plenty of possessions. His kick puts more under pressure. He's got to make two of them. And he does. From Grinnell in the wards, full forward. Paulus was there trying to swipe it with the one hand. Richardson writes and goes the other way. And it's McDonald, Alex McDonald, tucked in the back line, goes to the outer side and finds Curran. Away he goes towards the centre wing. This is a classic contest. Darren Gasper at the back does it nicely, gives it away to Harrison. In the wards, full forward, a half forward. Schwabel comes over the top with a big fist. Back to Schwabel again. Off he goes towards McDonald. Wide to the outer wing. Beat Rocker over. With him is his shadow in Darren Gasper. Another throw in. Jason Baldwin still waits his chance. There we go with his a new club. Of course, all the footy. With Bruce and the boys on talking footy. Right around the country on Monday night. Just check your local guys, won't you? I must. Gale, Moncourt. Back to Gale again. Now in towards the middle. Prescott. Sheer desperation. So too from Buckley. Moore. Guides the hand pass. Finishes with Broderick. Forced onto his lovely little left foot that he enjoys. Liddell steals it, however. And Poe takes it away for Collingwood. Down the wall. Buckley on half court. Campbell is there also. Wayne Campbell first to it. Needs help. Campbell's been a very good player across half back. He's caused Tony Short problems all night. Goals hard to get here. Seven to six. Moncourse wins it. There's Bond around his body. Good effort by uh, Nichols, but well done by Crow to McDonald to right. He's kicking to the centre square. Oh, Kellaway. He's played the percentages beautifully tonight. Harrison's out after it. Worried out of it. But Christian Garmo probably should have kicked it. Well, no, he did the right thing. He had Wild. He had Patterson closer. Take him off now, Rocker. Wild puts it up in the air. South sets himself. It wasn't a good kick. And Gasper's away. And Gasper's kick's not good either to Nichols because Pro had the chance. Good effort by Bullis. Can he get the ball out? He does. Round the body there by Chaffee. He's just come on the ground. Free kick coming back to Coleman, I think, by hanging on against Bullis. It was a moment ago, Trent Nichols just not working hard enough to get to the ball. He was prepared to let his Tiger teammate go for the ball. He hung back, hoping that it would be a Tiger ball and it wasn't it was a Collingwood ball. And Robert Walls would be terribly disappointed with that bit of play. Scott Crow, between half back and centre wing. Gets the ball almost to half forward. Big fly by Liddell. Michael Gale and Kellaway. Well done. Campbell's having a terrific match to Powell. Powell took too long. Liddell belts it with a hook into the pocket. Just wondering, Jim, is Miranda injured? He's been off the ground for a long time. I thought he started pretty well. No, look, I think he's been dragged. He had uh, just the, he had two and two in the first quarter, so he had four possessions. 
And in the second quarter, he didn't touch the ball, Bruce. And we see him running around the bench line. But maybe he... May, well, Dippers has told us that Miranda is, in fact, not injured. So it's just his poor form at this stage sees him off the ground. Longhurst tries to swipe around the back. There's been a free kick for illegal shepherding. Been taken by Cresswell. Towards centre wing. Bullis was the target. He got one hand to it. Crow came in high from the side. Nichols has shoved up to him. Might stay on the line. Bullis lost it. Everyone on the edge of their seats for this one tonight. And if you're watching at home, you've got the best seat in the house here on the seven for this one. 43 plays, 50 if you've just tuned in. It's the Tigers who lead. But an absolute cliffhanger. How long can they keep up this pace, this pressure? Nichols takes it for Prescott. Goes across the ground. Richardson has a slight fumble, but he picks himself up. Bondi says, I'll take you all. And he can't win that one. Gang tackle to the ground. And no prior opportunity there for Bond. Good pressure from both sides tonight. So right on 50. Longhorst and right for Collingwood. Scotty Turner doing the rack work there. Right work well. Here's Williams. When he goes, he really goes. But Michael Gale's equal to the task and he puts the pressure on that's required. Buckley an excellent score. Played by Nathan Buckley. Scotty Crow has it. They go in towards goal. Over the top of Rocker. Which way will it bounce? Hits towards goal. side perhaps a little I just wonder Tim how long they can keep this pace and this pressure up well it's a real arm wrestle at the moment Sandy and you just wonder which sides midfielders will tire first so Rocker may be uh, looked at now Harrison was he off probably not back to Campbell having a big match to Kellaway at half back Tim a mistake either way here is so critical isn't it I was just thinking the same thing, Bruce. In a tight game like this, mistakes are critical. Moncourse, well done. Patterson building it forward. Prescott courageously held his ground against Curran. Chappie coming through. Got a lot of distance. Inside 50. Richardson going for it. That's Mark Richardson. Hasn't got to him, but now he gets the chance. Can he break the tackle? He does to Paul Williams. Williams exciting. Kicks the ball wide. Maybe too far. Keller out the back. Taken by the earth. Christian going over. Out to Buckley. Buckley's high left foot. Can Collingwood take a big mark? Pro sets it to Gasper's got it. Good mark. Pretty got away, I think. Going to Campbell, who's having a fantastic game at the back. Best and fairest of the club a couple of years ago in their big year. Kicks the ball to centre wing to Chappie. Talented sportsman Chappie. Was on a baseball scholarship in the States. Ball inside half forward. Missed by Bullis. Play on call. Graham Wright with an opportunity to steady up. Goes from half back. Flat looking helicopter punt is going to bounce its way down the towards the attacking 50. Collingwood in the scoring zone once again. But the desperation is just a credit to all players on the ground. They're extremely desperate. I'd be tempted at this stage though to bring Richardson out to centre half forward Sandy. Bullis is just struggling there at the moment. Maybe just drag him back to the goal square. And we also we know how athletic Richardson is. He'll create a target for them. Very important six and a half minutes left in this term. Again, an infringement in the ruck has gone against Big Monkey. Holding on, he said, to the top of his jumper, which he was with the left hand. The play goes on for the Tigers, and it's Turner on centre wing. An underground puck doesn't have a lot of distance about it, but it's picked up by Powell. He goes towards half -four. Here he comes, Richardson, leaping. But he can't take the mark.
Gavin Chris's And I think he hurt his side when he collided with Campbell before. In the meantime, Brendan Gale can stretch this lead for the Tigers. At the moment, it is six points. comes back to centre of the ball, a centre half forward. Ben Moore was there, wiped his game tonight, 45 metres out, kicks the ball up in the air, it'll be touch play on. Shawball, quick kick away, oh. only straight to five at 52 metres. Too far out to kick the goal. On his own in the goal scores Richardson. Now he sets it up for him. Richardson sets himself. Start by Mark, by uh, Young Richardson there, Tim. Just keeps missing. That's the problem. Dip. There's Brown. To uh, Curran has a beautiful back turn. Curran's kick to centre half forward. Richmond getting back. Oh. Get away, you little beauty. What courage played by Burke. Holds it up. Wobbly kick, but it was a good one to Gale. Chapley was there to try and hold off Williams. Gale waits to kick. Courage needed. Prescott's got all of that. No worries about Prescott in that area. Don't take it off him. Settle it down. Well done, Rowan Saws, but up on. Prescott from centre wing. 
kicks the ball to set a half on Richardson launches again can't take the mark there's McDonald on the up to Buckley Buckley looking wide Mark Richardson with a chance he's a long way from Matthew there might have been a move there Mark Richardson at centre wing they want him to go on with it kicks it in board to Patterson Patterson down at his ankles plays it low anyway then kicks towards Kellaway and uh, Osborne Kellaway's dunk was good now Kellaway again has to concede some ground. Turner's got a stretch and makes it. It was a good effort. Now quickly kick it on to Gale. He does, and Gale's away. Put in room as he comes down centre wing to the roar of the Richmond fans. Has a look down towards left half forward. No mark taken. From steaming out was Paul Bulls. In fact, it finishes with him. Well done. He can go back to Michael Gale. He'll set it up further with a little chip towards Ben. And Moore takes the mark. in towards the pocket and a good strong work by Brendan Gale in front not rewarded Powell tries a soccer off the ground it's a fresh air shot though and Bruce you're right about the change James has now gone on to Matthew Richardson so deep in the attacking zone in the left forward pocket as Rocker sits it out with the monkey close to siren time maybe a big opportunity now inside 50 Gale tries to pluck it out of there and trying to get his left foot to it they're going to be dog tired at three quarter time Mark Moore. they certainly are and you can hear the voices here I'm about 20 yards only away from play at the moment the players are yelling at each other they know how important this last couple of minutes are if anyone can pinch a goal now they could probably pinch the match Gale again does the ruck work Hollywood's defense is being tested at the moment they're standing up Scotty Russell They're exhausted, and they've still got another quarter to go. Players from both sides are really yeah. starting to feel the pinch. I think Robert Walls will remember his 600th game in some considerable time. Gale again for the third time, on to the left foot, wobbles it across the face of goal. Look out, James comes away. It's going to be okay. He gets it to Gavin Brown. There's time for either side to score. Brown bounces his way through the middle. No one comes at him. Eventually, it's Michael Gale. It's a tired kick. Timely interception. Burns kicked the centre wing. McDonald's there and out of play. Richmond leading late in this match. They've been in front since the nine minute mark of the first quarter. When I say late in this match, late in this third quarter, they led at quarter time by 15 and at half time by eight. Buckley over the top. Simon Sounds. Collingwood got the first goal of the third quarter. They got within two points in a hurry, then got within one. But Richmond is able to stretch the lead from 8 to 14 in that turn. So we start the final quarter on Friday night footy. Huge crowd. Fantastic game it's been. The stakes couldn't be higher. Richmond desperately need a win, and so do the Maggies. Williams had it smothered. Ben Holland out of the centre square. Belts the ball inside 50, attacking it for Gale. Good play too, taps it forward. Taken by Chaffee, he was all right in the third quarter. That one cut off. Williams a quick kick away. Ben Holland's been good. Lucky Ben Chaffee, just choosing the wrong option. Ben Holland, wide to half forward. Going to ground was a Gale. Taken by Wild. He can chip the ball to Mark Richardson, who's got it. Mark Richardson between half back and centre wing. Collingwood need the first goal. In board to Williams, she's had his hands on the footy early in this last quarter. He's going to be a key player. Kicks the ball to Buckley, almost. Kellaway's been superb. Ben Holland puts a tackle on, and it's going to be a bounce. Found it interesting, Tim, in the third quarter that Damien Monkos gave two free kicks away on the run against Ben Holland. The experienced Monkos is sitting it out against the inexperienced Holland, yet he was the one who made the error. Saws Nash love the umpires. Ooh. Campbell ducks his head. Was clever enough to get it back to Gasper. Gasper almost leg to the boundary line. It was pretty crude, but he wanted it and he found it. And it's going to be a throw in. Is it deliberate what's going on? It is. He's paid it. Look, if you're going to pay them, you pay them all night. You don't just choose them in the last quarter of a game. Osborne sets it up to Sirocco at full forward almost. And he's going to get a free kick. Yeah. He got a slap across the chops. Well, what a controversial free kick the other one, though, against Gasper. 
paid by Rowan Source for deliberately handballing the ball out. There's a free kick there. Just a bit of scruffy play then by Turner. But really, you have to question why the umpire paid that deliberate out of bounds. There's been a number of questionable ones tonight. That one, no, no more than any of these other ones. And that's probably a little bit soft on that occasion too, but I guess you'd have to say by the letter of the law, the arm was on the shoulder and the hand was across the face. It's kick three. In his 100th game, he must score here from 25 metres out, directly in front. He's kicked the goal. It was the one that Collingwood was searching for. They close it up again, 7 8 to 8 10. Well, Scotty Turner's done a pretty good job on Sad Rocket tonight. This last quarter will be decided by whichever side is fittest. Both teams are trying to shape players for us. Watch this, Gaspers a long way from the boundary line. A long way from the boundary line, and I believe that is an incorrect decision. So the Magpies close the gap. And for a couple of interesting decisions, the play goes on. Broderick out of the centre. Down towards half forward. Osborne is there defending. Graham Wright is quick, and he's also got a birthday today. He'd love to celebrate with a win. But it's like a piece of soap, isn't it, out there? The pressure being applied by Harrison is good. It comes towards Moore. He gives it away towards Bond. It's a high kick. For Nichols it was in towards Bond. Couldn't take it cleanly. Could have been some holding on. Fans not happy. Play goes on. Tackling is like it was in the first quarter. How long can they keep it up? Hollander's caught. Gets it away quickly towards Chappie. He looks down towards centre half forward. A big pack of players. Here's an opportunity. It goes over the head of Richardson. He can leave it. He won't miss that one. So Paul Bullis and Matthew Richardson combine for Richo's fourth. And they've got the answer. It's again a 14-point break. Good play then by Holland just to get the handball away and Bullis who's worked hard all night he's missed a number of balls that perhaps he should have been able to clean up but he keeps working and that's all you want from your centre half forward you want a player that's there he didn't go up for the mark he stayed down for the crumb and finished it off nicely to Richardson so they're back to a couple of goals in front 9 10 7 8 Campbell was great in the middle a moment ago too getting it to Holland Mark Doran Yes, Bruce. Tony Shaw at three-quarter time told his players to concentrate with their disposal. He said the, the boys have got to start hitting the leads so that the boys can mark and, and put it a lot closer. And they've got Rocker at full forward and Buckley now at centre-half forward moving around and Callaway's on him. Patterson out after it. Osborne to provide a shepherd. Prescott broke the shepherd. Patterson took a long time to get a handle on the footy. Richmond swarm all over the top of him. The ball still to be won. Trying to break through was Ben Moore. Collingwood hold it up again through Wild and it'll be a bounce. And every minute that goes by is to Richmond's advantage at the moment. And Bruce, Ben Moore had something like 49 possessions last week in the reserve. That's exactly why they've pushed him up and he's been an honest contributor tonight. He's done a good job. He's been very competitive, hasn't he? When he's been around the footy. 14 posies for him tonight. Mark Richardson over the top of Ben Holland. Powell, whose pace has been exciting tonight. With him current, out of play. Still plenty of time. We're very early into this final quarter. It's 50 to 64. Richmond's lost five out of six. They sit Daffy and Miranda, two of their guns, on the interchange bench. That's a surprise. I wonder how fit they are. Miranda coming back from a hamstring. Daffy's had niggles all year. Osborne's quick kick to half forward. Kellaway Buckley. That is a fantastic matchup. Now Campbell belts it into the centre. Lovely kick and a lovely mark taken by Nichols. Looks down towards the half forward line. Bullis, who marks, but he's 75 out. Paul Bullis is called to play on. He does. A centering kick. Richardson again. But this time, he was a couple back. Couldn't take it. Collingwood pounce on it. McDonald was at the bottom of the pack. Pies want the next one badly. Williams takes the mark. He plays on now. Russell will come away. Up towards left half forward. Buckley. Kellaway. Kellaway. Buckley again. A little toe poke initially, and then Liddell comes in pops it over on the full. So we go back to Wayne Kemp.
14 points in Richmond's favour. Fourth plays 15th on the ladder. That's where the Tigers are at the moment. Shawbill floats across the pack. He couldn't take it. Throw to McDonald. Back to Shawbill. Another one. Look out, Curran. In real trouble. William threw but without the ball. Patterson handling it to Karasiska. He goes on to the left foot and tumbles it towards Liddell. There's four hands on that ball. And it's been awarded to Liddell. Campbell choosing the wrong option on that occasion. He really had to knock the ball away. Plays on to Buckley. Penetrating kick in the full four. They want a mark. They want a rover. They want Wilde to do something. He can't. But Aussie's there. On the left foot. Up goes the black and white army. They're still there. Osborne gets his second. Collingwood. Hang on. Well, there's a proven goal kicker, Richard Osborne. And that's exactly why Collingwood went after him when the was dropped off the Western Bulldogs list. On this occasion, he just camps himself underneath the pack, just waits for it. Rafa almost takes the ball. The Richmond defenders then were just caught, just caught napping. A good tackle. Gasper gets caught up in the tackle, and Osborne just snaps that one off his show with the left foot to keep the prize alive. 8 8 to 9 10. Osborne opportunist goal, his second. For Siska a moment ago, first kick for the night. 56 to 64. Richardson doing all right in the centre square. Bond and Curran. Curran was unlucky. No free kick. Play on call. Buckley onto it. Buckley delivers beautifully to Rocker. Couldn't quite take it. Kellaway's been a master at the back. So's Campbell. They've been fantastic as a pair. He kicks the centre wing. Outnumbered was Bullis. Well done, big fella. Oh, oh gee. Oh. A lot of it. Pressed to Jim Como. Boots it back to centre half forward. Osborne now outnumbered in the front spot. Campbell tries to go off the ground. He couldn't. Patterson's there. Gasper's there. They've got to try and hold it up, Richmond. It'll be a bounce. Well, Bullis had a lot of the footy at centre wing. You've just got to pay those marks. A terrific effort on his behalf. There was about four Collingwood players around him at the time. He had enough of the ball. Wouldn't you love to measure the stress levels of the coaches in a situation like this over 30 minutes? They push forward, Collingwood. They push forward wild off the ground. And Gasper off his boot. Eight goals, nine to nine goals, ten. Shaw and Wolves will be completely run out at the end of this game, just like a lot of other people in this ground. Scotty Turner. Using all of his allotted time. Goes straight down the middle. Now Holland will fly from the high. Front was Gavin Brown. You could tell where the ball was going. Richmond flooding that part of the ground. Chips away towards Scotty Russell. He's 70 metres out. Chips back again. Was it the right option? Only time will tell. Darren Gasper marks a defence. Maybe not. The long kick could have been in order. Campbell gives it away to Powell. He heads to the outer side. Over the head of Broderick. Russell again. Keeps Collingwood in the hunt. Buckley spears the hand pass away. They come surging forward. They need the next goal. Maybe they'll get it. Wild gives the hand pass to Patterson. Patterson goes for goal. Patterson! Yes! First game to Stephen Patterson. First goal in his 49th game. And what a finish. What a game. Good handball there for Russell. Good vision from Buckley also. Collingwood setting that play up with plenty of spare players there. But I really believe that Paul Broderick's starting to look extremely tired. And if Miranda's fit and Daffy's fit, I'd have them on the ground as quickly as I possibly could. Collingwood putting out the big challenge there within a point. 9-9 nine, nine to 9-10. Nine, Crowd absolutely roaring itself hoarse here. As Collingwood come forward through Buckley. And then Russell and Brown. Is it 50? No. Could the captain score the goal? <laughs> He's at 48 metres. He was a goal kicker, wasn't he, early on in his career? It's beyond his distance now, Bruce. He just never knows him when the adrenaline's really flowing. He just might get it home. The optimist wants to write the script. He's 50 metres out. He gives it all he's got. It's floating and floating and scores a level. It's all tied up. You know, the Melbourne 
cricket ground. Those centre bounce breaks just absolutely critical in this last quarter. Well, those two see the boys. They're looking tense, aren't they? Now sitting on the edge of their chair like the rest of us here, enjoying it all. It has been a magnificent contest. Turner again goes straight down the middle. Bounces smack bang in the centre. Who is going to lift now? Collingwood would have so far in this turn. They've caught them. They haven't been able to overtake them as yet. Liddell may have something to say about that. He pumps it high. Rock is going to make a lot of ground. And Turner takes an excellent mark in defence. Away comes Scotty Turner. From the back pocket towards centre wing. It's the sort of game that could go on and on. It's just so good. And that's too big an ask as Bullets gets caught. McDonald keeps it in. Look for Preston Giacomo. Couldn't take it. Now an opportunity for Chappie. Look out, Paul Williams almost got down. Maybe down ground. No. The whistle's been put away now. It's inside 50. James gets it out to right. Right finds the quiet for Siska. He's between half back and centre. Spent considerable time on the bench to get him for Siska. Now to half forward. Towards Gavin Brown, Liddell, Wild. Wild gets a short kick, but it's smothered. Look at Kellaway. He has been fantastic tonight. Look at Campbell, Osborne, Broderick, Gaspar. Caught. Back to Broderick again. The left footer will head away to Michael Gale. Now he's got Prescott over the top, but he can't take the mark. Buckley also lost it. Scoops it out the back door. Payon says down five. Broderick almost applied a high tackle. Curran kicks the full forward. Brown's the flyer. Rocker there also. Brown recovers. Tries to get it to Osborne. How long can this keep going? It's eventually soccer towards the line. We're kept in play by Harrison. Over the top. Osborne is there. Campbell is there. And so too is the boundary line. Sandy, there's a number of players almost dead out there on their feet. Michael Gale can hardly raise a trot. Scotty Russell ran him right down there. And we see David Burke. Burke's in a bit of trouble too. Looks uh, they might have injured his forearm there. Collingwood at 50 metres. Chief Michael Gale had got it. Prescott was all alone, wasn't he? There's Osborne. He's been pretty important. Chance for Wild. Ball still in. Wild can go all the way. He's got a run out him. And has kicked the goal. They're in front. First goal to Wild. The first time since the nine minute mark of the first quarter. But Collingwood's been in front. Again. They certainly have got the staggers. As we see there, David Burke coming off the ground and Mark Miranda coming on. Miranda's obviously not injured. And they need to get as many fresh players out there as they possibly can. Daphne's still on the interchange bench. But on that occasion, the Richmond defender should have run at Wild. Just made him make a decision. Nine and three quarter minutes remaining. Mark Doran. Sandy, from ground level, the ferocity of this game is enormous. It's exactly what Robert Wall said at three-quarter time. He thought that may give uh, the Tigers the edge, but Collingwood have certainly answered, and every ball you get here is certainly hard-earned. Six points the margin. Not over yet. There's still a lot of football left. As well, McDonald swipes it to half forward. Campbell tries to burst through a couple. He's unsuccessful, but he's got support through Harrison. Back towards the middle it goes once more. The bouncing ball eludes them all but one. Buckley's hand pass towards McDonald. He couldn't take it. It was Broderick who kicks the half forward. Passed right. Here's Richardson. Doesn't like the set shot. Maybe he can manufacture something for Nichols. Got a boot to it. Toe pokes it forward. They still charge it down. He's still going his trick. He holds it for a long, long time. Gets the hand pass towards the forward zone. And the Collingwood defence led by the able Gavin Francisco will come away. Couple of ounces. And to the outer side. Powell's underneath it. Russell there also. Powell takes a good mark. It's time for Richmond to lift now. And Scotty Russell not appreciating being used as a stepladder. There's not a lot of movement there at the moment, Sandy. No. But it's tired players. Powell looks down the half forward as a pack will gather. Richardson yeah. waits down. And now, very, very tired. That just has to be a contest at this part of the game. Richardson just has to go at that ball. Even if he doesn't get the ball, he just has to cause the spillage. We go down to Mark Doran. Yes, Tim. Uh, Jason Baldwin's warming up down here on the bench for the Tigers and looks like he'll make his first appearance for the game. The former Fitzroy vice captain, and what a time to come into it. And here goes Colin. It's Patterson bouncing his way towards goal. He can cover himself in glory. Which way will it bounce? Away to the right. Well, 
full wind space could be brought here. He's well, quick at least. It's staggering to think that they've still got a fresh man on the bench, isn't it? This could be a critical interchange, this one. And good luck to him as he uh, has his first game with his new club. We wish him well. What a time to come on. Turn it to the outer side. There's a contest there. It's still to the bottom. No. Uh, the mark is going to be paid. Breach him. Well, it makes you wonder about that fullest one earlier exactly in the quarter, right. doesn't it? It's Gale who's going to take it at half back. Benny Gale. Kicks to the centre. Oh. Just too far. But a bouncing ball. Collingwood sure belonged to it. Good hit the shoulder though by uh, Richmond. Benny Moore can kick a goal. He has threaded it. The little goal. Two goals to Moore. And Richmond needed it. And they're back in business. As a point the difference. 10-11 to 10-10. Well, they really just squeezed the guy out of nothing. I was almost going to blast Matthew Richardson who wasn't even concentrating when this ball came into the forward line. He was actually heading back in the opposite direction. Matthew Richardson plays his best football when he pushes up into the football. Too much tonight he's turned his back and gone back around towards goal. going to remember this game like so many others for a long long time Buckley out of the middle Collingwood go charging to half forward who can keep raising a gallop that's the question Gasper can to Campbell almost down the centre wing he's been excellent as Wayne Campbell club champion in 95 and back to that form now Schoenberg now McDonald floating kick it beats the ball it goes wide. Patterson may have to do the same thing. Bond is right on his hammer and he's a fierce little terrier. The ball spills free to Darren Gasper. He beats Richard Osmond. Flicks it towards half back. They are dog tired. And so there will be mistakes. But don't blame them. They've given us a fantastic contest. Look at that. Still pouncing on that ball like seagulls over a leftover sandwich. It's all about getting numbers at the ball now. Collingwood had a couple of free kicks, they were unlucky then the Maggies. Gasper made a blue actually, he should have used the handball and went for the kick and it wasn't a good one. But who knows, I reckon Richmond deserved a bit of luck after that uh, out of bounds and maybe the bullets mark, but certainly the out of bounds, the handball. Big belt by Gale, important. Right there with Nichols, still at centre wing. There's a point the difference. What a magnificent competition we have in the AFL. So even, week in and week out. If this had been a grand final tonight, they'd talk about it for 100 years, wouldn't they? It'd be a classic. Gale reaching high to Baldwin. First kick for the Tigers. Inside 50. Big play. Can Holland get back? Will they concede a point? They probably will, Collingwood. They'll have to. Scores 11. Would they have done that in the dying seconds? We've got time. Plenty of them. But scores 11. Delighted. 71 apiece. Well, they can be a dangerous side on the kick out, Collingwood. James, straight down the middle. Richardson in from the side. Goes through to the back. All look for the free kick. Didn't come his way. Comes towards Crow. He just paddles it to his teammate. Sensational play there by Trent Nichols just to hold the ball up. The pressure he applied to the Collingwood player on that occasion was magnificent. Kept the ball in and almost created an opportunity where Richmond would have been able to get themselves a scoring shot. Matty Francis looking on. Down ball out of the air. A high kick, Richardson. Richardson has been the best of the worst from him tonight. 
Williams out of the side. Collingwood coming back. Kicks the rocker and Turner over the top. Brown trying to get back to Collingwood. He forces forward. Turner's on the ground. A great effort to try and hold it in. Marinda's off the ground. They had the numbers. Baldwin panicked. Didn't need to. Had players around him. Probably doesn't know them all that well. And kicked it out of play. Well, that's, that's the problem, though, Bruce. When you sit on the bench all night, you're watching it, you're tense, you get up out there, and you just haven't been able to play yourself into the game. Nathan Bow, have a look at your son. <laughs> oh, throw him. Half forward for Collingwood. Out of play. Oh, Matty Francis, what a game, eh? Yes. Important goal there. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. We're both pretty quiet now, aren't we? He's going to say the first time Matthew Francis hasn't been able to put a sentence together all night. Free kick to Gibbs Richardson. It's going to Richmond. We'll speak to you after the game, boys. You just relax and enjoy it. Thanks. Here's Brendan Gale. To the outer side. Richmond now will be quite happy to control that ball. Richardson's a long way down the ground. Just exerting some authority. And he's going to get in the free kick. There's nothing in there.
Trent Richardson had to read the play better and take Gale away and become a dangerous player as Collingwood took the ball forward. Terrific play by Gale just to read there and get in the hole, though. 70,350 the crowd here. 70,000 tonight. They've seen an absolute classic Callaway. Can Collingwood make one last stand? Jordan, smothered by Nichols. Time is running out for the Maggies. Brown, back to him courageously. They were under it. Nichols is under it. Richmond are hanging on. Wright's got the footy. There's not much time. Shots a tackle. Quick kick. Doesn't go far enough. The Tigers have won it. The Tigers have got the money. I tip this, Bruce. Collingwood won't get out of it. Benny Moore has just got to kick it as far as he possibly can. And Richmond is going to win. It'll be a famous victory. He puts it up in the air. Richardson goes for it. Can't quite hang on it. Shawville had a bit of it. Goes to consistent. It's all over. because I felt that they may have buckled in that second quarter. They really looked like they got the staggers, Bruce. They fought their way back, and their second half was just magnificent. Nathan Power, Matthew R Francis, thank you very much. A job well done. Yeah, thanks very much, fellas. A pleasure. Yeah, I just uh, don't know what the contest across the road with the sumo wrestling match was on uh, was like, but uh, that was one hell of a fight. <laughs> Scene, stirring stuff inside the Richmond rooms. Nathan Bauer, I'm sure you want to join them soon, Matthew Francis. A final comment. Well done, guys, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, it was a, what a great game, wasn't it? Just fantastic. And good to win two for the Tigers. We've had our backs to the wall the last two weeks and uh, we've got a lot of very happy Richmond people here tonight. Matthew
with you? Uh, yeah, it was a fantastic contest. Uh, I don't think you'd get a better contest than, uh, than that. Thanks, guys. Job well done. Nothing better than hearing you blokes eat your words either at the end. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Yes, those second halves, too. We can well, they've put them the wrists, Bruce. They and showed big heart tonight. They certainly did. They battled it out. They made every contest they possibly could in this last quarter. Shouldn't forget Collingwood. It takes two to tango, and what a tango that was. That was one of the best dances you'll ever go to. There's no doubt about that. And they'll be disappointed, but really, I guess, in the end, Richmond were probably playing for a little bit more than what Collingwood were tonight. I think they were playing for their lives, and Collingwood were playing for a cushy spot in the top eight. But now they're going to be back to the ruck, aren't they, with three consecutive losses. What a way to start this long weekend. This will hurt the this loss as we go down to Dipper, who has Matthew Richardson with him. Matthew Richardson, Richardson you are a nightmare out there tonight. You're a fantastic win. Yeah, it's a great win. I mean, after the week we've had, we've copped a fair bit in the press, so I think we answered a few critics tonight. We're still about the Tigers, don't worry about that. In your conference in front of the goal tonight, you uh, tended to uh, play on every chance you had. Yeah, it was pretty ordinary tonight, I suppose, from a kicking for goal, but I suppose at least if you're getting the ball, you've got something to work with, so we've just got to get out there this week and uh, have some shots of goal and get it right for next week. Now, the fitness uh, sort of held up tonight. It was a very tough game out there. Yeah, I mean, we made a real point of it at half-time. We've been in that position the last few weeks, and we just wanted to make sure we went on with it after half-time. We did. Yeah. And the arm's OK after the uh, tough game? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Bruce McAmey just loves you at the moment. Does he? Oh, well, thanks, Bruce. <laughs> Good on you, boys. Oh, it was a great effort. I mean, we did see the absolute best from him, and the most frustrating <laughs> and infuriating as well, didn't we? Well, he's just one of those amazing footballing talents, isn't he? Look, he's had 14 kicks tonight. He's taken 12 marks. Carey figures, aren't they? Certainly. They certainly are. I thought there at one stage perhaps they could have brought him out to centre-half board, but really at the end of the night he did the job at full forward. Could have kicked eight, kicked five, and they were so important. What a game. 11-11 to 10-11, the final scores. It was a wonderful game. Richmond by six points. Their president's going to be delighted, Leon Daphne. He's with the Big Dipper. Thanks very much, Bruce. Well, Leon, a very happy president down here. Oh, yes, uh, Dipper. We, uh, we had to restore a bit of pride and self-respect to the team and the club, and I think we did that tonight. And uh, I'm just very pleased uh, for the players and for Robert Walls uh, and his 600th game of AFL football. Now, winning that game by six points, you're back in the hunt now? Oh, we certainly are. I mean, we've certainly got a long way to go, but... We were just uh, more concerned with getting the pride back in the club and uh, we'll think about uh, the finals a little later on. We're going to get a little more self-respect back game by game. And next week a couple of the uh, players have been out. Uh, well, coming back uh, in. well uh, Justin Charles, of course, will be available and uh, we think that Matthew Knights will also be available and uh, it should be a good addition to what was a very good team performance tonight. Thank you very much, Lee. You're very cool at the moment. <laughs> Pleasure, Debo. And that match is in Sydney on Friday night. The Tigers go up to Sydney against the Swans. What a game it'll be. A break from the MCG. Check ground, Richmond over Collingwood, 77 to 71, 11 11 to 10 11. And you tipped it, Timmy Watson, <laughs> Richmond tonight? Not with a lot of confidence, though, Bruce. I just thought that they did have their backs to the wall, and there's been a lot of pressure on them all week. And often we see a side that's been under that sort of pressure come out and play the way that Richmond did tonight. And it was just soul stirring stuff. Mm. It really was. And. Uh, it was just a wonderful effort in the end. It was. The match stats at halftime, Richmond had a few more positions. They actually blew mm. those uh, kicks out quite a bit in their favour. Yes, they certainly did. In the second half, they tended to have a lot more of the ball, Richmond, but they just weren't able to really hurt Collingwood on the scoreboard. And we see there a number of tackles there from both sides. 28 to Richmond, 31 to Collingwood. And at the end of the night, look at that, 45 times Collingwood took the ball into their forward line to 44 mm. Richmond. And... It really was just one of those terrific games of football. Richmond team stats, the first page, uh, some very good players at the top. That's right, Matthew Richardson, 14 kicks, 12 marks. He really was the focal point every time they went forward for Richmond. Although I thought that Bullis did a pretty good job across half forward. Campbell, I thought he was just terrific tonight. Collingwood tried all night to get him out of the play, but he just kept getting back into the play. And his desperation was as good as any possession that he got there tonight also. Brendan Gale's last quarter outstanding. As we go to have a look at uh, Collingwood, and uh, I'd imagine I was going to say Buckley and Williams will be up near the top because they get so much of the football. Yeah, they did. Buckley had a reasonable game, although I thought that Prescott had a fairly good battle with him, and Paul Williams, he probably shaded uh, Michael Gale at the end of the night. Brown was good across half back. Russell was a little bit quiet, also was um, Graham Wright. Yeah, but what about Prescott? You liked his game? He's with Dipper now. He played well, didn't he, on no, He was terrific. He certainly did, uh, Bruce. Well, firstly, actually, a fantastic game oh, on, no. on your behalf tonight. Yeah, thanks, Dipper. No, it was great. I mean, we owed 
we owed ourselves a win, we owed Richmond people a win, and, and it was great to, you know, win. I really enjoyed the way you played tonight. You really took on uh, the Collingwood opponents. You, you don't mind running through the players, do you? No, I don't. I mean, I know it was my role. I knew early in the week that I'd, I'd probably pick a Buckley up if he was playing in the midfield. And, you know, to play on a great player like that is a great challenge. And, yeah, I, I certainly do enjoy it. And to get a bit of footy too was great. There's a confidence thing for you too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you, you've got a direct opponent. But, hey, when we've got the ball, just, just run and go for it. And, you know, I did that pretty well tonight, I suppose. So I'm just looking forward to getting up in Sydney and having a go at them next week. Just take us through the game. It was a very hard physical game, wasn't it? It was hard. You know, as you can see, the boys are pretty pretty knackered after that. But oh, it was going to be. I mean, Collingwood are a very fit, fast side. So we knew we had to really play four quarters. You know, in the past few weeks, we've just played a half. We might as well not have played the second half. So, you know, we've just focused on playing hard, fast football in four quarters. And you're back in the hunt now, aren't you? Well, we are. I mean, it's an even competition. So, you know, we are back in the hunt. We've, we've really got to string a couple together, though. I mean... Everyone will be saying it was a fluke like they did against West Coast. So we just got to show people it's no fluke, you know, and we're back. We're back to, you know, have a crack at the finals. Well, well played. I gave you three votes tonight anyway. Thanks, Steve. Well done. He said that to everyone he's spoken to tonight, hasn't he? It's just holding that high emotion, isn't it? Yeah, week in, that's week out. Yeah. That is the difficulty, Bruce. They came out here all fired up. As we go back down to Dipper, who has Wayne Campbell who played it. Yeah, I have Wayne Campbell. Jerry Healy's watching. I think he should be in the state side after a terrific game in the halfback flank tonight. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Dipper was good to have a win. The boys were. You know, we had our backs against the wall, I suppose, and uh, to get away with the win, especially the way it was, we played pretty well, but then Collingwood came back at us. It's a real so. confidence booster for you, but Yeah, I think Ash Prescott just said, you know, we're in the rooms. He said, even though we were behind, we had a belief that we were going to win the game. So that's a good sign, I suppose, over the last couple of weeks where sides have ran over the top of us. So to think that, uh, yeah, it's all as well for the future. Is our game sort of a physical game, or is it sort of played up top? Very much up top. Yeah. The last, I mean, the last two weeks, our first half's been outstanding against St Kilda. We played as good a footy as we'll play. Against Melbourne, we were OK with three goals up. All of a sudden, we've lost. So, I mean, that's not physical, is it? That's certainly uh, mental. And uh, today, we're just sort of we're pretty lucky to get away with it in the end. Don't worry, son. I'll get you back in the big V. Stick with me. Thanks, Tip. <laughs> uh, the Tip, he's an urgent, isn't he? <laughs> well done. There's no doubt about that. He's handing out... Uh, Three points tonight, like Brownlows and medals he's won over the years himself. That's exactly right. He's given <laughs> six three voters tonight. <laughs> Good on you, Dip. We're going to take a break from the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Back with more after this. This is going to be one of the classic scorecards. In the end, Richmond by a goal over Collingwood. 11-11 to 10-11. The 1990s.